Alright, it seems to be showing up again. That's cool. Uh, yeah, so... Properties... Configure video? Is it really? So just leave it as it is? I didn't actually do anything. Let me know to anyone if it's stuttering, if it's probably it might have actually just been my internet. I've still got I'm still way behind on my my side of things. <laughs> I am embarrassed, don't worry. This is even this is this feels like some kind of Undertale style uh, mind game that it's playing with me. Is it really? Okay. Well, maybe I just shouldn't watch my stream. Maybe I just pause my stream or something like that because it's really distracting to me. Alright, I'm gonna pause my stream. You guys just tell me if there's problems or if there's sound issues or anything like that, alright? Alright. Should I look at options? Pixel mode off. Plan camera correction. I don't think I'd need to worry about any of this. Should I look at button configuration? Jump, action, control, horse, attack, grab, view, colossus. Alright, uh, is there some kind of uh, tutorial? In-game tutorial, Asma? Alright, I'm just gonna jump into it, alright? I got five viewers. And I know they're all just dying to see me play. If there's anybody new on the stream, feel free to say hello. We don't bite. In fact, Asmo usually does the opposite of biting. I don't really know what that means. I don't ask questions. You can really see the aesthetic is similar to uh, Eco as well. This could basically be Eco at this point. Did I really load Shadow of the Colossus or did I load Eco? How can I give mod privileges to you, Asma? That's what I want to figure out. Click on your name. I can ban you, I know how to ban you. Hey, you're a moderator. And I'm not even watching, I'm trying to figure out how to mod turn you into a moderator. I really doubt any game is going to surpass Final Fantasy VII for me anytime soon as greatest video game of all time, but I'm happy to try any uh, newcomers. I think the sword is a metaphor. He doesn't actually have a sword. That's to, that's so he can kick out people like the people trying to spoil uh, Undertale for me last night. Asmo now has the power, and if Axe comes, I'll give him the sword too. Shouldn't shouldn't it be a hammer ne icon next to your name instead of a sword? If seeing as you're the moderator, you have the band hammer powers. That just seems like an oversight by Twitch. I should be paying more attention and less talk. Okay, well this is cool. This is intriguing already. Came to a giant castle on a horse and he has this dead woman that he's holding. That looks fucking amazing.
And that's a cool shot. It seems like a cliche uh, shot in film, but it looks really, it's really powerful here. Oh, also, Esmo, I haven't uploaded the last few streams to YouTube, so I'll make, remind me to do that before I uh, go to sleep tonight. I don't really know what it's talking about right now. Huh? I assume this is the land and I'm going to be the one trespassing on it to bring her back to life. Awesome, Asma. Thank you. This is some uh, Star Wars Episode 3 business going down. Hey, Shadow Monsters, like from Eco. Yeah, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I thought PlayStation 2 graphics were good enough. They Any graphical improvement from, from then on is just a bonus for me now. At least I have a sword this time, not just a wooden club. Okay. What just happened? They're not actually speaking any language, are they? Okay, cool. <laughs> it's... Yeah. You think it's just gibberish, or do you think they have some... The developers made some kind of language and grammar that could be deciphered with enough information? This seems a lot like Star Wars Episode 3. In terms of story. I was to you to call, no sons and peace, no quarrels. All Muslims around us, I were confused. Ayo was not the
言うてん。ゆべっさなだ。Hey, as my whiz X. Why? I guess maybe I'll find out later, I don't know. Why do they want the idols to be destroyed? It really feels like Anakin Skywalker's fall to the dark side. But it feels better, I suppose, than Anakin's fall to the dark side. Like, <laughs> yeah, we don't need axe. Is it? What if I just have nothing to add? What if I just sit here silently for eight hours or however long it takes? How long does it take to complete? Oh, don't even tell me. Don't even tell me. I don't want to know any details. Um, yeah, I'd say the, the story itself does seem similar to... Oh, now, by the way, I'll be on that way. I thought he said, by the way. Um, yeah, it already seems more impressive than, say, the Star Wars Episode Three equivalent. Whereas, I'm going to have to achieve this gargantuan task, whereas he just needed to turn once and then killed some younglings and then fled and then that was it. It was it really wasn't well realized. It wasn't manifest in the uh, the movies. So already, I think this is this feels feels better than that. Oh, okay. The controls are a little weird. They're all inverted. Can I change them from being inverted or like left goes pans the camera. What, what's that? Uh, clockwise? I'd rather go the other direction, I think. And down goes up. And... Maybe I can just get used to it. Oh, that really looks beautiful, by the way. That's spectacular. I love the, uh, the fading effect. I don't know what that effect is called. <laughs> cool stumble animation, too. Jump. I mean, are there ways the controls could be more intuitive? Oh, 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 I'm stumbling. How do I jump? Triangle. How do I get on the horse? Oh, I just tried to stab. My horse has a metal ass. Bang! How do I get on the horse? Maybe X? I didn't know. X is the only button I didn't try. Oh, X calls it. Oh. Oh, uh, maybe like, uh. How do I get on the freaking horse? Oh, controls! Please, this isn't good viewing. This is like a really fundamental aspect of video games. What? My sword points the way? Uh, now this is opposite once I'm holding zero. Uh, okay, so the light from the sword points the way, but it's not pointing any way at the moment. Oh, it's pointing that way. Okay, cool. I feel like the horse is the final boss. This is... What if I just can't get past this? I just do this for three hours trying to stand on this freaking horse, which is just walking away casually, and then I just quit and never play the game again. This is what happened in uh, GTA San Andreas. I couldn't get past that first bicycle mission, and I just never played the game again. Uh, how do I get on the fucking horse? Come back here! He's just walking away! 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, I can, I'm tying up my shoe. Zooming in. I honestly don't know how to get on this damn horse. Let's keep stabbing it. No wonder it's running away. I'm gonna have to. Is there. Where are the buttons? Ooh. Whoa, that's so sick. Oh my god, that looks awesome. That is the best transition to a map screen. Uh, okay, button configuration. Here we come. Here we come. It's gotta tell me. Control horse. XX. That just seems to call the horse. Attack, grab, view, colossus. Change weapons. Jump. Action. Triangle. Which one here? Let's jump. Action. Control. Horse. Triangle is uh, jump. This is the worst stream ever. No wonder people are leaving. Ah, I got on. Oh my goodness. I just needed to be standing there and pressing... I can't even remember what button I pressed. X. No, triangle. Just jump. Control the reins with left stick. Oh, this is so weird. Hey, it looked like I was going to fall off. Yeah. Alright, I kicked him and he just... I guess this is what it'd be like actually learning how to ride a horse, but my character is clearly ridden a horse before I rode in on the horse to get here, so now I just feel foolish for not being able to. Alright, I'm gonna explore this way. Oh, this is difficult to control. How long does it... Yes. Oh, oh. This is like trying to play Goldeneye after Goldeneye 64 after playing Call of Duty and every other first person shooter for the last 10, 15 years. Alright, so I should be following where the light goes. Okay, the light is pointing that way. Or is the light just pointing towards that cursor? The light just seems to be pointing towards the cursor. This is embarrassing. I am in sunlight. I'm just going for a bit of a yeah. bit of a stroll. Press start button. This, by the way, that's a that's the sexiest transition to a map I've ever seen in my life. That is awesome. I love the ambience, there's not even any music. It's got that uh, No Country for Old Men thing happening. Yeah. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Then I'm going this way. I love the ambience. Do you think... Okay, so this world is basically empty. There's some tufts of grass there. And I imagine... I remember you told me once that that's part of the story, that basically everything is dead in this world. Do you think that's one of those things where it's empty partially because of the limitations of the, the console, so they just also made that a feature of the game? Like, So I imagine I get off the horse. Hey, I can get off the horse. That's easy. Is this a Colossus? Okay, well I'm not in the light. That's not 
dull by the looks of it. Can I jump? Can I climb? Oh, it, it could be both though, Asma. That's a wall. Hey, screw you, man. I'm exploring. I don't know what's going on. It looked like a door. So how do I get to the top here? Is that a ledge? That looks like a bridge. What's the what's all this then? How do I grab onto the edge? Is there a way to grab onto the edge like Anika? Ah, you just went up. Okay. Mind you, I don't think I've ever really played a game like this before. I've played a little bit of a couple of the Zelda games, but I haven't finished them or anything, so... These open-world adventure games are not my forte, so this is really blind going into this sort of game. How do I get up? Sure, I need to be up there, that's what it looks like. How to get up there? Ah, oh, now it gives me a tutorial while using R1 to grab on. Hey. Ooh, okay. Ah, that tutorial came after about two minutes of me looking like a total dumbass. And now it gives me this tutorial after I've already done it. Alright, this gets a fail on the tutorial aspect of the game. Yeah, you're right, they could have filled this world. But it's also, like, some of the graphical effects they're using are also... They also have the added benefit of hiding some of the, you know, graphical flaws in the game. Like, when they have that faded effect. Ah, okay, cool. We got it now. We got it now. Ay, ay, goldie. Goldie, goldie, goldie. Oh, 3D platforming elements. You. Is this what it's like playing Zelda? I'm sure if I'd played um, Ocarina of Time more, I'd be, I'd be naturally adept at this stuff. Whoa! Look at that. Okay, so actually, there's no real fade in the distance. That was purely there for effect because you can see all the way to the edge there, or at least you can see all the way over there. So that's pretty amazing. Oh, controls. Okay, cool. How do I get up there, I wonder? That doesn't look like I can go up there. I played, I played the most of Twilight Princess, but uh, okay. Are there vines I can climb on? There must be a vine somewhere. Okay, does it want me to go that way? Where does it want me to go? It looks like the camera is trying to point me in some direction. I feel like if I try to jump up there, I'm just going to fail spectacularly. That looks amazing. Look at that. That's our starting area, right? So epic looking. I should have tried to climb up there. That might be the next place I go to try to climb up there. It's kind of difficult to control, but I'm getting the hang of this. Why can't my horse climb up with me? How 
high can I jump? I honestly have no idea what to do. Oh, okay, I know, I know. There's a ledge. Go easy on me, guys. I never played a game like this before. Aye! Well, holding on, press and hold triangle, then use left stick to aim your jump. Okay. Guys, come down, come down. Oh, and he just fell. Oh my god. Release the. It tells me after I fall. Does it want me to fail? Is that the thing? It's trying to encourage me to figure it out for myself. Maybe it does need me to fail. Maybe that. Uh... <laughs> Here we go. No. Ah, cool. Okay, thanks for the hot tip, Shadow of the Colossus game developers. Okay, that's pretty big. <laughs> yeah. That's really well detailed, too. The trees just look like twigs on the ground now next to that. Like, wow, what a good job of uh, emphasizing the hugeness of the Colossus by having those those trees there, which look immense next to me. Use L1 to look at the Colossus. Alright, so it has a lock-on mechanic. Do I, can I get my horse up here, or what? How do I run faster? I feel like... Alright, this is a little bit scary. Can he just crush me to death? Well, I just figured out that it had a bum leg because my sword focused on it, so... Hey, it's got these huge things on its back. So these things have obviously been designed by the god. We couldn't develop that evolutionarily, right? Oh yeah. Oh, I fell off. Oh, Jesus. Is he going to crush me? Oh! Do I have health? Whoa, whoa! Oh, he's not happy. Well, I thought it might have been... I mean, it was obviously trying to tell me... Um, it's vitals, right? And I thought at first it might have been... Uh, it might have just meant how I can climb up, like what I can use. Oh, how I move. This is tough to move. I'm, I'm literally hanging from his asshole right now. Uh, okay, okay. No, I fell down. Oh. Okay, so this doesn't actually do that much damage to him. Alright, climbing up his ass.
Alright, I'm up. I'm up. Ooh, ooh, I jumped the wrong way. I jumped the wrong way. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I need to actually... Wait, there's birds! Alright, is this where I stab him, you think? Ah, uh, no, stab him on his freaking head. Right, I need to move back a bit. Ooh! Ooh, he's not happy. He's not a happy chappy. But really, what has he done to actually deserve, oh, deserve being killed like this? I feel a little bit bad. Just trying to save my, uh... Oh, grab on, grab on! No, 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 no! Ooh. <laughs> Damn it. We, have, we were talking today about maybe get, getting rid of the uh, moniker of balls. Get something a little more mature. I could just use my actual name, I guess, too. You've ruined everything, Asmo. You might as well tell him my uh, address, credit card details. Ah, oh, I keep falling off. Hey, why does that keep happening? Ooh. Oh. What's that alarm sound? Is that me? Am I oh am I like on the verge of death? Oh he almost kicked me. Oh stab him, yes. One more stab. Come on. Heal boy, heal! Yeah, he's, he's down. He's down. Oh, I just fell off. Oh, this is difficult. I guess it shouldn't be easy, right? Oh, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's that siren? And what is that big pink th thing in the bottom right corner? Oh. Come on. He's got to have incredible grip strength to do this. Oh, is it? So, as it gets bigger, is my grip stronger? Ah, oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, he's trying to shake me off. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, grip me up. That means I need to be more patient and let my grip... Whoa, 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 come on. Okay, I'll let my grip come back. Whoa, come on, don't fall off, don't fall off. Don't be like that. I oh, know, I want to go this way. Ah, oh, but I could rest here. Okay, I'll rest and get my grip back. Yo, come on. How does he not, like, how could he not be swatting at me on his back? This feels really huge, too, by the way. Oh, his horns are broken off, too. This thing's been in some fights. Oh, come on, come on, don't be like that. Oh! I need my grip back. I need my grip back. Come on. 
Oh, he's spurting blood from the top of his head, man. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, I guess the, the vulnerability in his head also matches his broken horns. He's obviously had some head trauma. I don't know what against. Maybe the other Colossus? Oh. This poor thing, I feel sorry for it. Hey, Pepe the Frog! Nice to meet you, Pepe. Welcome to the stream. I never played this game before. That music's cool, it's very Halo-esque. Ooh, what is that coming out of his head? What is that? Is that his soul? Yo! Oh, what is this? Is that, uh, what is this, the Green Mile? Am I, like, absorbing all his ailments? And... Alright, I'll keep playing this. What brings you to the stream, Pepe? You a fan of this game? Why is it still saving the data? Is it a problem? Oh, there we go. So the um, progress bar didn't actually do anything. I guess it's nice that I don't have to travel all the way back. Did I just wake up here? That's a bit intense. Who's this guy? What sort of game had been released on PC? Could you imagine the type of monsters that uh, mo uh, modders and users themselves could design? You just have like an infinite number of monsters in a in a community world. Would would that make you happy, Asma? Okay, what the what is that? Something sick is going down. What does that mean, raise thy courage? So, there was some dude over here? Or was that just the guy, the doorman, talking to me? You guys still there? I don't see anything happening on my stream. Yep, internet's still working. Uh, Okay, so I killed... Alright, so let's recap what's happening in this game. This girl, who's obviously very important to me, has died somehow. I rode her in on a horse. I've obviously already been on some kind of epic adventure. <laughs> Sorry, Asma, but what, what if that was true? What if you could play a world where people could create these giant moving puzzles that were also trying to kill you, and you could just play infinitely. You could, maybe there'd be like a way to create them yourself too. What do you think a game like this is probably better served just being a self-contained unit? I want to know what's at the other end of this thing. Okay, so I was recapping. I then asked the gods to bring her back to life because I've, I've been on some epic adventure. I got her here. And the gods say, we can bring them back to life, but you need to kill these giant creatures. That that creature I just killed was kind of sad, like... 
it made me feel like a bad guy for having done that. Oh. I'll move this. Move around, horses. Move around. Um, then its soul came out, I consumed it, or something happened, I imbibed its soul somehow, it went into me. I don't know what's over here. How do I stop? How do I stop? How do I stop the horse? Okay, okay, okay. Um, and then I blacked out and I woke up back here. Yeah, are they even bosses, or are they just the enemies, right? You know what I mean? Can you really call something bosses if that's all they are? I mean, the, the boss is relative to other games, but in this they're just the only thing you fight, right? Hmm. Alright, I'm doing some kind of exploration here. I'm sure this is going to come into play at some point in the game, or is this here purely for people who want to enjoy the surroundings? That's interesting, Goldie. I'd... Hmm. To be honest, I wasn't expecting any kind of storyline for this game. I don't know. I knew more about this than I knew about Undertale, but I really wasn't prepared for what's going on. Like, I think I maybe seeing you play this game, play that monster, or somebody at Colin's house has mode, but... Holy shit, I'm just running in circles forever here. Can I just jump down into that shallow pool to get out of here? Yeah, and right now there's just ambient noises, right? So there's the scent, there's... I can hear my... There's the wind howling in here, it's like a big wind tunnel. I can hear my horse clip-clopping and occasionally <laughs> making a noise, and that's it. And, but before when I fought the Colossi, Colossus, the music was going, and it was pumping, and it was epic sounding. Alright, this is a closed door, so... Whoa, is my horse going to come up here? Okay, so I imagine that this door is going to open at some point. I'm going to have to fight a big bird on top of this mountain. Maybe like the last boss or something. Can I just jump down into this pool of water? Can I try? I'm going to try. Okay, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like, um, what's it called? Assassin's Creed, where you jump from this massive tower and just land in a bale of hay and you live. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just embarrassed myself in the most ridiculous way. But could it be that? Could it be the, the epic adrenaline pumping nature of the fights as contrasted to you know, the serene nature, uh, nature of the rest of the game. And it's, it's very, uh, it's a very somber tone. <laughs> like, it's a deadly, it's deathly serious story. Grave, it's grave subject matter. Okay, I want to watch this cutscene again anyway, because I want to see what this, uh... Yeah, I did that on purpose. I want to watch the cutscene again. Sure, but what if it was like a God of War thing, where it's just non-stop fights? Maybe the bosses wouldn't have the same impact. And th this is like... <laughs> uh, this game is also like, in total contrast to Eco notice as well, so in Eco, uh, I mean there are some large environments, but most of it's enclosed and small, the idea is to solve puzzles, 
and the fighting itself is very simple. You just have a stick and you just swipe at these shadow monsters. I'm streaming, Ali, so don't walk behind me unless you want to get on camera. And I missed it again. Can I do anything to her? No, no. She's invincible. Alright. Oh, that was easy that time. You can have my fried rice if you want it. At least, yeah, it's probably a good thing that the horse is kind of controlled organically as well. You can't just press a direction and it will pivot and, and go there, you know? Come on now, Goldie. Come on now. Okay, cool. Where, where is my health bar? Is it the red bar down in the bottom right corner? Wow, that looks so cool. Whoa. There's obviously a Colossus over there. Right? I can't see the focus of the beam. That way? I give a prayer. Ah. Sure, I'll save now. Yeah, that's true. But you think it should just be insta death? Yeah, I am going to go around the temple as well. I just wanted to see what this thing was. Oh man, I want Axe to be here. I miss Axe. Back here, horse. Hey, hey. Okay, okay. No, I knew that. I knew it was around the temple. Come on, don't insult me that much. But I do want to know what's over there. Doesn't that just make you want to explore it? Like that's a huge cloud of dust or something coming from over there, right? Can I check that out, or should I? Should I just go straight to whatever? To the ocean. Max is one of our friends. He was with us when we were playing Undertale yesterday. Whoa, what is this? Looks like ribs. Looks like a rib cage. I can explore? Yeah, I want to go see what's over there. How did I get to this land? I, I'm assuming I came this way, right? So I would have traveled that path to get to where I am. This would be the cave, I imagine. Oh, oh is this the way I came? This might have been the way I came. Okay. <laughs> okay, how do I get over there? Oh. oh, there's even like this cool, I don't know what the word is, it's like phosphorescent looking red line indicating my direction, the direction I've been. Alright, so I need to get over there if I want to explore. Can my horse just fall off the edge? <laughs> He's had some good puns. Yo. 
I love the horse's hair as well. It looks like physics. Physics based animation, not just an animation. Yeah, look at the hair flapping in the wind. That's really cool. Yeah, I know, but I want to go check out this thing. You told me I can explore, and yeah. that's what I'm doing. Is there going to be anything over here, or is this just like later on there will be a Colossus here? Like, how could I not want to explore that? Oh, look how green this valley is, too. Alright, stop, 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 stop. I think the word you're looking for is cove, right? Not beach valley thing. Yeah. Hey, where did all the dust and stuff go? Ah, oh, it's that way. Fuck, it's miles away. I made a mistake coming this way. I should have just gone to fight the, the monster. See, this is what I do when I play these games. I love the exploration. Yeah. So that might be frustrating for potential view viewers. <laughs> why isn't he? Why is, is my horse tired? Why isn't he running? Canyon? No, it's a cove. It's a it's a beach valley thing. What is this thing? And there was also I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to finish that sentence. Call us a ding dong. Okay, I can save the game here. Whoa, there's a big cave over there. So this is this counts as an open world game, right? Is this a sandbox game? Uh really? So there's actually no point in coming over here? That's alright, I'll get to explore this later. What is that thing? I want to know what that thing is. It's like a temple or something in the distance. Over the right there. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to the cove. Hey, hey, Goldie. Yeah. That one was reaching. That one was reaching, Goldie. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder... Like, if my experience would be different, sh should I have been playing it by myself, like alone in the dark in my room, rather yeah. than talking to people? Because it's a really isolating experience, running around this totally empty world. Okay, there seem to be some grass, minor graphical flaws down there in the yeah. cove. Yeah. You don't have to do puns to impress us, Goldie. Just know that. You can just be yourself. Yeah, well, I'd probably feel less pressure to actually get to the next uh, Colossus. Um, so how do I get down to the cove? Do I have to get off my horsey? What's my horsey's name? Philip? Can I call it Philip? Okay, get out of here. Come on. Yeah. Oh, all right. That's all right. Don't change who you are, Goldie, for a couple of bums on the internet. Whoa! Ah, okay. Okay, so I have to get down there, right? But does my sword... Ah, okay. Ah! Ah!
Uh, okay, there's some kind of uh, ramp to get down to where I need to go. Why is my horse going so slow? Oh, I can press the button a lot more and it'll speed up. Now I feel stupid again. Ah, okay, I know where I'm going now. Whoa! Also, after playing uh, Metal Gear Solid 5, the horse mechanics in this are really difficult. But maybe it's a good thing. Ooh, it's getting dark. Ooh, cutscene. Maybe I should do an Ocarina of Time blind run. I'm sure that'd get some viewers, wouldn't it? I can get snaps, uh... As more I can get snaps Nintendo 64. Oh, I should have invited him over to play some Goldeneye and stuff with some of my friends. And stream that. You say suggestion, I say manipulation, Esmo. Manufacturing consent. This game is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, maybe I should do Ocarina of Time. I've never experienced it as well. Have you, have you ever actually played Ocarina of Time? Yeah. I mean, I've seen bits of it, but... Oh, this is really ominous. I can even hear my horse snoring from all the running. Oh, it's in the dark, so my sword isn't going to point shit to me. Yeah, I still I still really want to watch you do a Resident Evil remake blind run, Mark. That would be amazing. I would... Oh, don't say that, Esmo. What if I just fail terribly and embarrass myself? I would pay money to watch you play the Resident Evil remake blind. It wouldn't be a lot of money. Like, uh, it probably wouldn't even be real money, I'd just use some kind of barter system, maybe some cookies, some crackers, a piece of cheese or something. Um, I'm not in the sunlight, so I can't see exactly where I'm meant to go. I'm sure it's meant to be around here. Do I go into the water? Should I get off my horse? Do you guys remember when you're on the internet and you would never give out your real name or real information, no matter what? It doesn't matter how long you were on, say, that forum or in that IRC chat room. It would be absolutely foolish and crazy to think about giving out your real information. And giving a picture? Oh, man. That was a big deal when people gave their pictures. Uh, okay, I don't know where to go. Just gonna keep running around. Ah, oh, sunlight. You can also moan a first name in pleasure. I do that often. Yeah. Not the name of anyone I know, just random people. Oh, Trevor. Sandra. Oh, 
Okay. Yo, it's got like an NFL helmet on. Okay, so the Colossi all look kind of similar too. Are these things like weapons from Final Fantasy VII? Here to protect the land. So this guy's slow moving. I'm gonna get off my horse and hopefully he doesn't crush my horse to death. What is under his feet? Ah, his weaknesses are under his feet. I can see them. I can see them. There's no sunlight here though, so how can I... The unmilkable cow. Alright, I wanna get over... Oh, okay, okay. Alright, so his head... His head under his feet... And his ass. I'm gonna try and stab his feet first. Oh, my horse is freaking bolting! Come on, I'm gonna stab his feet. Ah, oh, that's that proves surprisingly difficult. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I need to topple him over like a cow. I could see the um. You can see the glowing marks under his feet when he was walking. Do I need to roll? How do I how do I roll again? Oh. Oh, he just about crushed me. Oh, he's going the wrong way. Ah, camera. Ah! Whoa! Okay. Am I just unconscious now? It's a good time to start moving. Hey, I have a bow and arrow? I don't have a bow and arrow. What are you talking about? Yeah, that would hurt. I should put some tacks down. And zoom in. There's no such thing as a bow and arrow in this game. Because I'm good, Goldie. What? I do not have a bow and arrow. You cannot see one on me, right? Hey, Axe is here. Get out of here, Axe. Is there some other way for me to climb up? I don't have a bow. What are you talking about? There's no such thing as a bow. Oh my god, I have a bow! I can use the D-pad! Holy shit, did you guys know I had a bow? Ooh, I got him. Ooh, he's down. He's down. Sucker's down. Oh, oh, he has fur. He has fur. And I don't mean the Vietnamese meal. That would be handy too. Alright, I'm climbing, but I need to be quick by the looks of things. Alright. This fur... Is great. Looks really nice. For a PlayStation 2 game, especially. Alright, I'm up. Let my grip... Oh! That sounded painful.
What's what do you think? I, I was gonna ask Asmo, but what is each of yours favorite video games of all time? No! Oh, that's not good. Not favorite video games. I mean, most played video games of all time. Uh, you, come here. Come on, lift that. Lift that heel. Ah. Oh. Yes. Okay, so that's the question. What is everybody's most played video game of all time? Whoa! Glitchy jump there. Well, how many hours have you put into each of those games, Asma? Hey, I never played Europa Universalis 4. Oh, I gotta move quick, my grip is running out. Come on, come on. Yes, I made it. Oh, 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 grab on, grab on. Oh, I'm down, I'm down. Oh, and I hurt. Yeah, Team Fortress 2 looks like a lot of fun, but I've only played it a couple of times. You should play uh, Insurgency with us, Scaldi. Yes, he's down, he's down. Ooh, I was trying to read the chat. Yo! Hey, when he stands up, it helps me. Oh, I'm on his hind leg, and it's proving exceedingly difficult to move. Ah, okay, I'm up, I'm up. Alright, I'm on, I'm on. Oh, he's trying to shake me off, holy shit. I'm moving again. I'm moving again. I'm moving again. Here we go. Yeah, I really don't know much about Team Fortress 2. I know it's one of the highest selling games on Steam of all time, right? And it looks like a hell of fun, but it, it seems intimidating to get into now. But then again, I play Insurgency, so... Hey, where's his weakness up here? I swear he had a weakness up here. Oh, he's trying to shake me off. Ah, there it is. I didn't have my sword equipped. I'm trying to think of what my most played games of all time would be. Obviously, Final Fantasy VII would be up there. Fallout 3 and New Vegas would definitely be up there. Oh, he's shaking me off. This music is pretty good, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> it's alright. I don't care. I, I should probably change it from balls at some point anyway, right? I need to let my grip heal. Or recover. Yo, here we go, here we go. Can I just keep stabbing him in the head, or do I need to hit other parts of his body? Oh, you can't see the health bar? Oh, really? Can I pause it? Alright. Let me pause. Um. Oops, 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 oops. So you want me to... Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. <laughs> my stream just cut out. God damn it. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's coming back, I promise. 
promise it's coming back. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so you want me to move this to this side? Hey, it's not even really looking at me properly. Do you want me to make it smaller as well? You don't really need to see my big dumb face. Or, or should it be down the bottom left? I might put it down the bottom left. I'll make it smaller. And what I will try and do is work on getting a blue screen behind me so it's just me. It's not a, you know, opaque box. Um, I, if I also went back to my childhood for most played games, Dune 2 would very definitely be up there. Me and my brother used to rent that game every weekend. Oh, my grip is running out. Oh no, I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall. Ah, oh, no, I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall! Stop it, please! Okay, 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 rest. On the top? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, let me put it back on the top. Top right? How about dead center? Like that. Alright, alright, hold up. Now let me do this, and I'll try and minimize it as much as possible here. Holy shit, that's a lot of hours. You know, I probably actually... Yeah, I'd have to say, if... if poker doesn't count, I'd have to say StarCraft 2 might be my most played game of all time, and I wasn't even very good at it. It was addictive more than anything else. Well, I mean, it was fun, too. And challenging in all the good ways. Ah, oh, I should have let my... I'm sure I've played over 3,000 hours of StarCraft 2. Or oh, 3,000? I don't know. I, I can't really conceptualize how many hours that is. How many days is that? Oh! Oh no! How can I hold onto a ledge? That's pretty epic. Alright, I'm gonna let my grip recover. Whoa! Whoa, I'm tumbling! <laughs> yeah, I'd love to. I, I, I kind of quit StarCraft 2 because it was so, um... It was so addictive, but Axe and I want to get it and play some, uh, want to play Legacy of the Void and play some Archon Node together. I'd love to do that. I'd love to play 1v1 as well. But yeah, I'll definitely stream StarCraft 2 sometime. Well, because I'm joking, obviously, Axe. It's, a, it's one of those recurring jokes. You don't, you don't understand the pressure you feel as a streamer to be entertaining. It forces you to make dad jokes. Yeah... Maybe I didn't play 3,000 hours then. There's a hell of a lot of hours. I wonder if Battle.net has it recorded somewhere. Okay, so the skill wants you... Okay, so the skill in killing monsters, at least thus far, is solving how to get on get onto him, solving how to get up to his or hers, its weak spot, and then it's a combination of attacking the right spot, controlling your grip meter, and hanging on for dear life. That's how it seems so far. But I imagine they're going to become more exceedingly, like increasingly more difficult. Hey, his, hey, his weak spot is, has it disappeared? This music is pretty epic too, by the way. Alright, I'm gonna let my grip recover. Yo! Uh, okay, so I can't actually harm him anymore? No, I'm not doing any harm. Okay, okay, I'm gonna run to the back. Alright, I'm running. Oh, this is pretty amazing. This is obviously the inspiration for God of War, right? Now, God of War, the battle takes place on the back of a giant monster. Oh, oh, oh I'm stumbling and falling. So It looks so clumsy, considering how epic this battle is right now. 
Hey, Ellie. You can sit next to me if you want. Nobody can see if you sit next to me. Oh, the cat. Oh, please. Oh. Now, see, the cat is trying to mount me like I'm on top of this giant monster. Yeah. Ah. I'm glad I don't just attack. Yeah, of course, but that was obviously the inspiration for God of War, right? I'm glad that these sigils exist elsewhere on the monster. I don't just want to be attacking its forehead like it's Teal'c from Stargate SG-1. It's harder for him to shake me off when he's on when I'm on his ass also. I never actually played God of War either. Oh, okay. Yo. I could always do a blind run of God of War too. They're meant to be good games, right? Yeah, but on God of War, the actual setting was on the back. Yeah, like, the, the stages were on top of a giant monster, so the backgrounds and everything were, were moving and shaking and just to give it that more epic feel. You weren't actually fighting the monster, you were on top of it fighting other enemies, right? Oh, that guy was meant to be a sloth? Sorry for continually referring to them with the male pronoun. You guys, stop using the word organic. You gonna have my fried rice? Is it nice? It's pretty good. Alright. Hey, Bennycon, you joined us. Welcome to the stream. I'm figuring out how to play this game, and I think I've mastered it already. I've defeated two of the, what are the 16 colossi? Ah, oh, now there's two of these ghosts here. This is really sad. This is also how epic it should feel when they remake Final Fantasy VII and you beat the weapons. It should be, like I'd love it if they could give it an even more epic feel than this. Because these are basically weapons from Final Fantasy VII, right? That's what it feels like. Like not in how you beat them, just in what in what they are. What they are. Hey, awesome, Benicon. I didn't think any of you guys would want to tune in once I stopped playing Undertale, but I'm I'm still gonna play Undertale again sometime. But I've been waiting to play this game for so long. This was originally the first game I was going to stream. I was going to stream. Yeah, I never played this game before Benicon, and honestly, I didn't know what to expect. I think so far, uh, how do we sum it up so far? So it has. A similar story to Anakin's uh, plight in Revenge of the Sith, but it's got a way more epic feel because what he did in that movie, he turned to the dark side, but and he killed Mace Windu. But Mace Windu was a poorly built up character, really poorly built up, and then he killed a bunch of younglings and whatever. So, as far as that movie is concerned, it was really underwhelming. Whereas this has a totally epic feel to it already and this it's still just surrounded in mystery as to what I'm really doing like what the what are they called dummy con uh, so the gods have some kind of ulterior motive right and I'm doing some it feels like I'm doing some heinous stuff like I have this noble cause to save my wife's life but it's at the expense of these giant noble creatures that I don't know. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I 
<laughs> has no. I'm pretty sure you're going to say all of them are going to be fucking amazing. Like, is there going to be a boss fight coming up where you're just like, yeah, this one's a bit meh. Oh. What are you guys doing? We're playing with my cat. My my housemates. Oh, my housemate and my wife are playing with my cat. And now it's distracting me. And now I've just walked into a wall and I'm wiggling, I'm wiggling, I'm wiggling. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yo, camera troubles, camera troubles. Okay, here we go, here we go. I'm back on track. Yeah. You know, I could also stream Eco. I'm currently playing through that again. The Warthog is it? Is it similar to a uh, Bebop from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? I really hope it just actually looks like a giant two D sprite of Bebop from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, I really want to know what the boss is over there in that giant cloud. <laughs> Asmo, you gotta calm down, man. I never seen you like this. I bet you're all a Twitter. You're like Pumba. Oh, okay. Because Bebop's pretty cool. Is there a rhinoceros like Rocksteady? This is probably the best. I've only just started the game. I don't want to. Okay, I'm gonna remain quiet. I don't want to sing too many praises yet. But it's hey, there's a bird there. There's a bird. That's oh, a lizard. Oh, I can shoot while riding. Okay, okay. I wanted to shoot that lizard. But I wanted to be like one of Genghis Khan's warriors. It's... Oh, I should have saved the game. Where's this thing? I'm gonna go save it and heal my health if I need to heal. What does the hand? Ah, oh, it's so hard to control this freaking horse after playing Metal Gear Solid Five. Oh, really? <laughs> Actually, I need to start using my Twitter more. I signed up to Twitter for the first time ever for when I started streaming, and I just haven't used it since. I honestly don't believe you right now, Goldie, when you tell me that. Like, it was hard enough to believe Pikachu when he told me to type in Toby Fox as my essay in Undertale when I was fighting Metatron. Oh, controls, the controls, the controls. Okay, 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 okay. Stop, stop, stop. Whoa, I went flying. My horse, come back. Come back. Hey, I can't save here? Yes, I can. Or does it just heal me? Oh man. Okay, whatever. Abro. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to read what you're talking about. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, Axe. But this, I wish Final Fantasy did something as cool as this. Look at look at this map, man. That's awesome. It's so beautiful. I think uh, I haven't played it, but Witcher Three kind of looks a bit like that. Looks like it's scrolled onto paper. Sorry, I'm reading the chat now. Yeah, I'd love it if the area between in the Final Fantasy VII remake was influenced by this. And I'd love it if the killing of the uh, the weapons was influenced by this, and if there's and if there's more weapons. I'm pretty sure the original Colossus I'd seen before, maybe it was just when you played the game at Collins Asmo, but I thought it was from the promotional material or something. Ooh, how do I get down? Oh, it was so bright. Yeah. Yeah. 
You've never played Final Fantasy VII before, Goldie? Ah, I can save it here, right? Whoa! We're gonna be launched into the air, that was sweet. Hey, how do I do stuff? That doesn't work. So I can't actually save, it just heals. I can only save back at the temple. Oh man. I wish I could. Honestly, that's like the people tuning into my Undertale stream, or like maybe it was you saying that they wanted to relive the game. That's why they were watching the blind runs. That's how. I would love to watch somebody playing Final Fantasy VII for the first time. Or even 9. I liked. I enjoyed 10 as well, and 6. But 7, especially. Like, that is the game that has a spot in my heart. You Do you know about the famous scene in Final Fantasy VII, though? Like, how much of it. How many spoilers do you know from the game? Ah, there's a path here. I'm going to take the path. Yeah, it was you saying that. Yeah, that's how I would feel. Like, I used to get my friends in high school to play Final Fantasy VII, and I would just watch them play for hours and hours. And that's like a, your first playthrough. That's like a 40 to 50 hour game as well, if you don't do all the side quests. So, The one thing I hope about the remake is that they keep side quests. In fact, they expand on them. Wow, you know nothing about the game at all. I would love, I would love, I would love to watch you play. I'd love to see that. I would be there in your stream while you were playing that game, for sure. Do you want some anything from Uh... No, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. I want to, but no. <laughs> you can talk, you don't need to whisper. <laughs> Alright, he's passed the test. We've vetted him, he doesn't know the scene. You need to play the game. I don't know if you'd enjoy it. Do you, do you like JRPGs? Like, I didn't when I first played it. It was the first one I really played. Which was a lot of people's first JRPGs, so they just freaking loved it. But, I don't know, I, I don't even think it's too dated. I think it's still playable. Am I even going the right way here? Yeah, I can't think of a more famous scene in video game history. The closest I can come to would be like the Psycho Mantis boss battle or something like that. Uh, okay. Well, that's cool. We can respect that. But I'd love to watch someone stream who just had no idea about the game. It's actually... It's just... It's actually amazing. Like, I played through it again this year, and... I, th I honestly think it's still really playable and still holds up. Like the the aesthetics are fantastic. The music is the it has to be the greatest soundtrack of any game I ever played. Like even my my wife doesn't enjoy video games that much. I was playing with the music up, and she would just be enjoying the songs. And you know we would listen to piano versions and orchestral versions of the OST together sometimes. And, and the story is really fantastic. It's really deep. There's a lot of um, a lot of really well fleshed out characters. I think I'm totally lost here. I'm gonna check out that bronze girl. I actually went searching for that once, Esmo, and I had no idea what I was looking for. So many people who have claimed to have done a blind run or whatever, it was really tough to find the one you were talking about. <laughs> you don't have to know it. I just assume, like, most knowledgeable video gamers would be aware of it just through being around people who talk about video games, but. Honestly, I'm totally lost, by the way. Yeah, me too, Asmo. That's what happened. Hey, look at those shadows. It looks like two puppies kissing. Uh, I need to find some sunlight.
Yeah, there's no sunlight, so the sword doesn't help, right? So being in India is the equivalent of being under a rock? Is that what you're saying, Esma? Hey, is Benicorn still here? Hey, I'm up to five viewers now. Well, where am I? I thought I was going back to where I came from, but I was just progressing, accidentally. Whoa. I want to get up there. The, oh, oh, the camera goes under the water and there's a sound effect. Oh, that's really cool. I know it's just a filter added over the screen, but that looks amazing. Oh, and even like the horse and myself are distorted. Holy shit. Why is that so impressive? You can even see the light rays coming through right there. Holy shit. Why does this game have that detail? <laughs> um, is my horse going to go into the water? Yeah. Yeah. No, my horse isn't going into the yeah. water. So, I think I need to find a way... I would actually love to stream Final Fantasy VII again just to talk about it with you guys while I was playing it, but... Uh, I feel like I'm lost again. What is that beam of light there? What are those beams of light? <laughs> Holy shit, what is this? Uh, I feel like I'm backtracking now. Okay, I've got to be going the wrong way. <laughs> you are a bit of a ding dong. Asthma? Oh, I didn't know I could swim. Hey, cool. Alright, well, I'm gonna go over to this thing over here. Uh, Axe gets really frustrated. Yeah, that's one thing I really need to work on in my stream is figuring out how to talk and play at the same time because I got totally lost then. You also wouldn't have liked it before X when I went exploring for like five minutes before Esmo told me, oh, by the way, you need to fight them in order. You need to fight the Colossi in order. So actually, I was, wasn't going to find anything with my exploration. It's my horse just <laughs> galloping through the water now, just having a bit of a swim, cooling off. Uh, yeah, I do have a YouTube channel. I haven't, it's not great yet. I tried to actually update my Twitch and add some widgets and stuff to it, but I was getting overwhelmed by it all. But my YouTube channel should be found... It should be just below my stream, I think. Yeah, you can just go scroll down from my stream and there'll be my YouTube channel. It's pretty... Um, it's pretty sparse. There's just a few games on there. It's unadorned of any kind of... Uh, ooh. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. I want to get to the top and have a look around. Yeah, it's not very well decorated. It's not very well produced. I've got a, I've got a few days off. I should spend some time updating all this stuff. Oh, look at these plants. These plants really stand out for how light green they are. Oh, I just haven't uploaded the last couple of days, so my last couple of Undertale games I haven't uploaded. Yeah, that's basically all it is, VODs. Should I have more than VODs? Should I? I should, yeah, I should start putting, like, reviews up. Things like that. Some commentaries. Oh, okay. I'm so happy that I could catch on there.
Yes. Yes, it worked. That felt really good. Yeah, basically my, the VODs on my YouTube are just past streams I've done. But yeah, I'd like to get into doing some reviews and stuff like that. I made a blog as well. I just did a review of the new Star Wars movie pretty quickly. It's pretty shit. It needs to be edited and stuff like that, but I've, I've been working heaps. So. I don't know, that's just excuses. I should put more effort into this stuff because I really enjoy it. Okay, whoa, what is this? Oh, cool, I'm up. Alright. Alright, it's already started. I was going to have a break just to chat to you guys, but... Ah, uh, yeah, I think I've seen this one before. Whoa, this one is... Oh, he's got a sword or something? Well, that's his... that's his arm. Is it a monkey? The armored comedian. Oh, so you think that's a microphone he has? A mic stand? Oh, he's gonna. This one's gonna attack me. Oh, I got a lock on. Well, this one's actively seeking me out by the looks of it. The other ones were just kind of. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, okay. Alright, his legs are not weak. His head appears to be the only... Oh! And his belly button. Also had a fresh piercing. Oh no! Please! Yo! Okay, so how do I climb up? What about under his feet? Ah! Oh, okay, I need to climb up his sword when he attacks. Forgive me for continually calling it a heat. Blam! Here we go, here we go, here we go. And we're up. We're going, fellas. Here we go. Hey. Hey. Whoa! When is the last Guardian coming up, Benacon? Ooh. How come I can't climb up? Do I need to move down a bit? Alright, here we go, here we go. Whoa! Has he just forgotten about me? Alright, maybe I just need to... Okay, I know what I need to do. Yeah, I never even heard about The Last Guardian until recently, and it... It really looks like it's made by the same guys, so... I actually have a friend who is an artist at work. I think he's just done his masters. And he he was looking to play some new video games and I recommended this and Eco to him. Because he's really he's really into art. He has a display at one of the museums around here at the moment. Alright, how do I Oh, this is trouble. Ah, uh, I'm down again. Okay, okay, that was difficult. This is amazing. Why don't... Oh, I just fell off the edge of the world. Whoa. He just stabbed it into he just punctured the earth. Do the um Okay, so those things actually eventually heal. The holes in the ground don't stay there. Yeah, but when the game finally releases Axe, you'll you'll still be excited for it, right? Like you have you actually played this game, Axe? Like what do you think of this game? How do you rate it? Do you rate it as highly as Asmo? What about you, Benicorn? Asmo rates this his favorite game of all time, so... What do you guys think of that? 
Yo. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, I think the FF7 remake is going to be on PS4 first. I should stop reading the chat. It's probably affecting my performance. I want to try and not run off the edge of the earth as well. I think I did really, really well on the first two Colossi, but... <laughs> oh, he hit me. I just called my horse up? That seems foolish. Seems like a folly. Uh, and these are puzzles that... Because essentially these bosses are real-time puzzles, right? That fight back. I need to climb up. Quick! Quick! I have no grip! I have no grip! Oh. Was I doing it right? I'm pretty sure Team Fortress 2 has to be Goldie's favorite game of all time. How can you argue with those numbers? Here I am. Here I am. Is he facing the right way? What happened to his belly button thing? Ah. Oh, did he hit me? Oh, jeez, he got me. Oh, I'm knocked out. I'm knocked out. I'm not going to make it up in time. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh really? Undertale? Okay, so the game is obviously trying to give me hints. I kind of just want to climb up. What just happened? Is this the game telling me I'm so shit it's helping me? Oh shit, I gotta run, I gotta run. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, I'm on there. Oh. Okay, I'm not doing well. Silent Hill 2, yeah, that was a damn good game. Team Fortress 2 Portal, of course. I never played Terror from the Deep. Alright, here we go, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. Alright, here we go, here we go. Ah, oh, I can... Ah, oh, I can jump up him now. Okay, so I had to... I had to get him to keep hitting the ground so that his armor broke. And that allowed me to climb up him. Okay, cool. Okay, let's go, let's go. I gotta recharge my grip soon. Ah, okay. Yeah, well, I did that accidentally. Okay, I'm up, I'm up. Recharge that grip, baby. Oh, 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 oh.
I actually, I preferred Portal 2 to Portal 1. Is that a contentious thing to say? But I did play Portal 2 before I played Portal 1, so... That. Oh, maybe I want to get onto his middle part. Hey, Benicom, we were just talking about how I should do a... Uh, I've never played Ocarina of Time. I should do an Ocarina of Time blind run. Would that be something that would be cool to watch? Alright, here I go. Here I go. Here I go. Oh, that was freaking epic. Did you see that camera turn around and get all the... Everything in the background. Oh, I stabbed him in the top of his head. Oh, with his big dumb wicker man face. Yeah? Alright. I'll try to make that my next game then. I'll see if my friend has a working N64. Oh. I don't think he has Ocarina of Time, though. I'll have to buy a cartridge. That'll be expensive, won't it? Bam. Can I stream the 3DS version? How do I do that? I'd rather just play the N64 version, I think. Would it be dated by now? Or is it still really playable? Okay, I gotta recharge my... I gotta recharge my grip. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I can stream it from the N64. I have component cables. Whoa. Oh man. I just want to stab him on the head. You really felt that way about Portal 2? I mean, I played it first, so I understand that Portal 1 was a bit more of a pure um, puzzle game. Right, it was just level after level mostly, whereas Portal 2 you really took detours and went through the back framework, but I felt like they actually complemented each other really well. I did really enjoy Portal 1 as well. Portal 2 seemed like a great sequel, actually. That's, what I, that's how I describe it. And the co-op mode was really fun as well. Yeah, I agree, Goldie. And Axe, I agree, both of you. Oh, I gotta climb up and... Oh, I'm falling off. Oh, this, this is... This song is way better than the other songs that have been playing so far. This song is... Freaking awesome. Ah, the sigil disappeared. Does that mean I have to get the one on his stomach now? Why does it disappear? Is there a story reason for that, or what? Like, is there a lore reason for the sigil disappearing? No, I fell off! Ay, 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 ay. I was doing really well. Okay, see you later, Benny. Thanks for coming by. <clears throat> yeah, stomach sigil, that's what I was gonna go for. Can I shoot it? I gotta get away from him. Oh, he's just gonna stab the ground, that's no good. Oh, oh that's no good either. What's the time? It's still getting pretty late. Time's flying. Oh, it is disheartening when I fall off and have to climb back up again, but I guess if that wasn't an ever present risk, then the game would probably be a bit stale after a while. Oh, he was nowhere near me. Oh, come on, that's not fair. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh that was pretty epic. 
Hey, Goldie. You're back on farm, Goldie. I think the sigil is back on top of his head. I can't see the one on his stomach anymore. Oh no, it's there. It's there. Okay, no, that's no good. Run, 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 run. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. This is my time. This is my time. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah. I'm up. Okay. Ooh, I can just climb under his armpit probably once I recharge my grip. Come on, come on. Don't fall off yet. I want to recharge that grip. Oh, I can probably just jump there. Ah! Ah, yes! That's, I, I wanted to do it a little more... Uh, I wanted it to be a little more glamorous than that. A bit more suave than what it was, but that's essentially the effect I was going for. The result. Yes, here we go. Hit that navel. Hit that navel. Oh, come on. Oh, he's doing the twist, man. How do I get him to stop? Hey, hey, the, the arrow is still sticking out of him that I shot at him before. That's a great touch. That's awesome. That's one of my complaints about Metal Gear Solid 5. It's the first game since uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 came out that you can't see the darts sticking out of people that you once you've shot them. Uh, hey, the arrow actually just fell out of him then because he shook it out. Oh, it's really hard to climb up. Oh, I jumped too far. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Basically a rock climbing sim where the walls are moving and... Trying to kill me, I guess. And I'm trying to kill them. I'm not doing much damage. This is one of the most awesome video game songs I've ever heard. I love this one. This has obviously been an influence on, say, the recent Lara Croft games. This, guy, this sucker's gonna die soon. Oh man. Come on, let go, let go, let go. Nah, I gotta let go. That, by the way, I've gotta put that as a highlight on my YouTube channel. Maybe like the greeting video when I finally made it to the top of this guy's head and the camera was panning around as I stabbed him in the head and you could just see for miles in the distance. That. Oh, that's got to be one of the best video gaming moments I ever had. That was just... Oh, it was so good. Bam! Come on. Look at that. You can even see that beam of light shooting up into the sky in the background. It actually seems to be affecting the clouds.
He's down. Is he dead? No, he's dead now. Bam! But, I mean... No, I didn't feel good. I was about to comment on that. Like, And then we get this Halo music again. Like, it's satisfying to overcome the obstacle, but... I mean, each each death really feels like a tragedy. Like, these giant, tragic, colossal figures, and I'm sure there's going to be some kind of a uh, storyline exposition as to what they are and how they came to be. Ooh. Oh, I didn't mod you, Axe. I'll mod you. Alright. You are now an Axe. Uh, a mod Axe. I don't know if you're still in the stream. I suspect that you're not. Look at these figures. Like... Yeah, I would like to know why I'm, I mean, I know why I'm doing it, but why are they getting me to do it? I also know, like to know more about my backstory, because this really feels like, I've, like as I explained earlier, it really feels like I've already been on an epic adventure. It feels like I might have just finished... Um, Eco, like I could have just gotten out of this giant castle, escaped, and then now uh, here I am with another immediate epic adventure. <laughs> Sorry, Goldie. I promised Axe and Asmo months ago when we started talking about this stuff. Oh, should I do one more? I am getting tired. I'm happy to do one more. I'll hang out for a bit longer. I also want to know if I can climb up the outside of this place. Hey, there are birds around her. Get out of there, you stinking birds. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, they, they just flew through the ground. So they're not really fully rendered. <laughs> why why is it better than uh, GTA 5 or San Andreas or Liberty City or Red Dead Redemption for that matter have you played Red Dead? I haven't played that okay the characters in the GTA games are pretty good too Yeah, I never actually played through San Andreas, though. As I said earlier, I got stuck on that first mission. I was just at a friend's house, so... And then I just stopped playing, and I never played again. I'd love to go. Did, critically, do people say that GTA V is Eclipse San Andreas? Because San Andreas is still generally considered the best, right? This is SOTC, Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah. Sorry, I, I forget that there's a delay as well, so I can't... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, you don't really see Shadow of the Colossus referred to as an initialism, right? Yeah. Nobody really calls it SOTC. Yeah. What is this cavern? Oh, epic. Alright, this will be my last Colossus for the night. But I will definitely stream again tomorrow, I think. How do I get down? Over there? I heard good things about Dad the Tentacle and Manic Mansion. I haven't played either, though. I'm just a casual gamer. Uh, is this where I'm going? Hmm, I'm going that way. Hey, my freaking horse, calm down. What's your language, Asmo? Uh, axe. Wield the ban, ban hammer, I think. Time to ban it. Time to ban him. I'm getting tired. Oh, so this one is underground? What's up with this? Do I ever actually have to use this to just fight like enemies? Okay, what is this thing? Is this just like an old tomb? So it's just here to add to the setting? Or? I actually wonder if like, you know, okay, No Country for Old Men, it's, you know, it'd be one of my top three favorite films of all time and it doesn't have any music through the whole thing. I wonder if they were kind of inspired by this I wonder if they even play video games. Ooh, there it is. I can see it. I can see it. Axe, I told you to ban Asmo for swearing. Using the D word, man. Of all the words. Is this the Colossus? This is the Colossus. Ooh, it's a horse. It looks like a Brachiosaurus. 